McDonald, Nova Rockefeller, and Brandon Hot are taking us to church today. We'll go ahead and play the song. A short drink or a long prayer I've been sober but I don't care I'm so scared of my own self I get no help and that's no fair So don't go there, I've been hell and back I got scorched hair in this Gucci cap I got empty bottles and a million bottles Of regret swallowing the out of bed Fuck it, let's be real I resent the way that I feel they said right there is I need, I need I need a short drink or a long prayer. I have been sober and I don't care. I'm so scared of my own stuff. I get no help and that's no fair. So right here he's going over the problems that he's been going under. So don't go there. I've been to hell and back. I got scorched hair in this Gucci cap. And he does wear Gucci. Um, He did go over this before. He would rather just throw it all out. Because a lot of people just think it's a bunch of bullshit, but he was just only bought it because to them it's a symbol of where they came from. And then he says, I got empty bottles and a million follows. I regret swallowing the Ativan. So this is about his alcoholism. We'll go ahead and keep going. I pretend that it's cool, but I miss getting drunk and I'm angry that God doesn't help when I kneel. Fuck it, I said my prayers. When I got clean, shit just got worse. I quit doing drugs and I pleaded with Jesus to save me, but he didn't hear my words. This shit don't work, it hurts. I went to... What he said right there is, fuck it, let's be real. Or is that the way that I feel? I pretend that it's cool, but I miss getting drunk. And he misses getting drunk. You know, we all miss what we can't, what we decided not to do anymore. A lot of us miss what we decided not to do anymore. Like get drunk or doing drugs or doing anything like that. And I'm angry that God doesn't help when I kneel. And that's how a lot of people feel. They feel like God doesn't help when you kneel. Sometimes God's there with you. Instead of, you know, getting you exactly out of the storm, he's walking with you through it. Fuck it. I said my prayers. When I got clean, shit just got worse. I quit doing drugs and plead with Jesus to save me, but he didn't hear my words. And that's what a lot of people will go to. They'll, they'll think that Christ just didn't hear their words. It's like, he is hearing you. It's just, sometimes you got to be strong, you know? Sometimes it's your thing to be there for. Sometimes he's your counselor in times. And you have to have him as your counselor to be there to comfort you. But some things you got to do yourself. And that's like, God gave us the freedom to do what we want. So we have to do, we have to have the freedom to get out of the crap we don't want to do as well. And that's what it is. He just doesn't like snap his fingers and you're not an alcoholic anymore you're gonna have to work hard i'll go ahead and keep going church now i need liquid courage whiskey in my glass i take the knives out of my back to stir it go to hell and back again then show you burns to prove i earned it i need shots of god to gain the strength i need i'm just a person he said, this shit don't work. It hurts. I went to church. Now I need liquid courage. Whiskey in my glass. And I take the knives out of my back to stir it. Go to hell and back again. And then show you burns to prove I've earned it. I need shots of God to gain the strength I need. I'm just a person. This is very humble. Um, Tom McDonald seems like he's one of the most humble rappers I've ever heard. And right here is just giving it the way it is. This is how people feel. This is how people are when they want to come to God. A lot of them just feel like church ain't doing anything. And some of them, he said here to go to church, he needs liquid courage. He needs to drink to get the courage to even go. Is how he feels. Because when you first go into the churches, usually a lot of us are very much seen... When we think of church, all of these judgmental people, and while that is the majority of churches, 
some churches are going to be there to help you. They don't just put themselves on the high pedestal thinking, oh, they're more holier than thou. Those are the fake Christians that aren't really going to go to heaven if they keep thinking the way they are with their ego. So, it's just a good way of having a worldly aspect looking into it when they're trying to get with Jesus or Christ to save them. This is how a lot of them feel. Um, this is also a lot of the reason why a lot of Christians fall back into the world. A lot of them feel like Christ wasn't listening to them because they blame the people. People are not always godly. Even if they say they are, you have to realize that. You can't just blame God because these people say they're godly. And you hate how they are acting. That's not enough to blame God on that. That's not his fault. It's their fault. We'll go ahead and keep continuing. Right there he said, I pray on my way to the liquor store that they lock the door. He doesn't want the alcohol anymore. He's saying he hopes they lock the door when he gets to the liquor store because he feels that he'll be laying in his grave if the whiskey pours like it did before. I'm scared. I send out a prayer. Can anybody hear me? Is anybody there? Because honestly, it hurts and every day is worse. I keep buying whiskey when all I need is church. And this is just him going, life is hard. And I keep thinking whiskey is my solution to all of this. But I know that really it's church. I'll go ahead and keep continuing. I keep talking to God, but he don't hear me. And my demons are there, always listening. I get lost in the dark, drowning with whiskey. And I went in so far, you say you miss me. I'm on a ship in a bottle, say goodbye at the shore. Break the glass, and you'll find me. I'm not who I was before. Close my eyes in the darkness and hope. Oh, that was Brandon Hart. He said, I keep talking to God, but he didn't hear me. And my demons are always there listening. And that's how a lot of people feel. They feel like God's not listening to them. But then they feel like their demons are always telling them what to do. Oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. Well, God, he just wants you to do what is going to be best for him and what is going to be best to lead people to him. That's what you are to do with God. The demons are there to keep you busy and make it so you can't do anything. You'll just keep getting drunk and then you won't be able to do anything. And then he states, I get lost in the dark drowning in whiskey. And I love this imagery of drowning in the whiskey. Because I've never really heard this before. And I, I don't know if I've really ever listened to too many songs about not drinking alcohol anymore. But the drowning in whiskey almost reflects to me like drowning in the sorrows or drowning in sin even in that type of a way a lot of bands i listen to because i i'm my dad's a pastor we listen to a lot of christian music when i was little and i mean like rock christian rock i listen to a lot of christian rock like under oath they talk about um drowning in their sleep in one of their songs and to me this drowning in the whiskey revokes those thoughts that i've always had about like drowning in depression or drowning in that and that's him drowning in the whiskey here 
he's drowning in that whiskey, but that also gives you that thought line of like, he's drowning. It's like depressing. He's drowning in the whiskey. So we'll go ahead and keep it going. But he states, um, and I went in so far, say you miss me. I'm on a ship in a bottle, so say goodbye at the shore because he's stuck in that vital life. Break the glass and you'll find me. I'm not who I was before. Close my eyes in the darkness and hold on through the storm. And this is like what I was going over in the beginning. Sometimes Christ, he helps you through the storm. He's there helping you. You can lean on him. And then he says, I'm a wreck in a bottle. I wasn't built for war. And that's why we have Christ. Christ can be the one fighting our wars for us. We just need to rely on him and lean on him. Those church pews, bright lights, whiskey glasses, bottles, and booze make short days, turn long nights. The bottle, the Bible, I didn't know what to choose. And this is just going over Brandon Hart's way of, looking at it he he doesn't know exactly what to choose the bottle of the bible at this point at least of this verse we'll go ahead and keep going And that kind of confirms it there, but Tom McDonald was saying, I can't read, but the Bible's still with me. My eyes can't see from the bottles of whiskey. So that's why he can't read. And the Bible's still with him. But he's still with Christ. I don't believe anybody will miss me. And this is like the drowning, what I was talking about earlier. I felt like drowning was supposed to provoke like an idea of depression. And that's what this is. I don't believe anybody will miss me. That's pure depression. It's the purest form that's usually when a lot of people everyone feels this way too don't ever feel like you're alone when you say i don't believe anybody will miss me a lot of people's felt that way i felt that way in the past you can feel that way everyone's felt that way this is when people though they'll fall on their knees begging god to hear them when they know nobody in the flipping world gives a crap about them. When you hit that point, you understand why God exists. Because you hear him. When nobody's around you saying all this bull crap, you can hear through the what exists around you alone. Seeing the sky, seeing all of this, and you're just in this deep depression. You're just in this deep, deep hole, and you're seeing the beauty of the world, but you just don't feel it. You're, you're, you're like, well, how? How? It's because you've severed God. That's why a lot of people, when they come to that point, they fall to their knees and they beg for God because... They know deep down that he is listening to them. We'll go ahead and finish the song off.
And Nova was helping on that chorus there, along with Brandon and Tom. And this song is an amazing song. I feel like it will help many people on their way of getting away from the liquor and into the churches. And I hope all of you have a great day. Bye. Exclusive designs are found at Truth to Freedom. Buy a shirt today, or a hoodie. We have the best freedom designs, on anything. Americana Legends, Design Series, Monsters Like Bigfoot. Exclusive brands, exist on Truth to Freedom, like the music brand, Bash. Great and unique designs. Another exclusive brand, existing on Truth to Freedom, is Noir. Elegant and Noir themed designs. Americana designs exist. Show your patriotism. Show you are filled with the American spurt. Show them all.